Hockey is an incredibly interesting game, but it isn't easy. A player needs so many different skills, like skating very fast, stopping quickly, dodging the opposing players, controlling his stick, and shooting the puck into the goal. And there's no way to do all of that without science. For instance, to calculate how hard to hit the puck or how quickly to stop. Hockey players learn all about that during their practices. They put on their protective gear and go for it. And that's not all. Hockey players also have to be brave and nimble. Otherwise, they might find themselves unable to stop and crashing into the boards or taking a puck to the head. Ow! But as the saying goes, hockey is not for cowards. Tideesh! Sorry. Bounce it off the board! Enough with that! I happen to be helping you, if you didn't notice. You said you don't like hockey, so quit giving me advice. Hmm, whatever. That was my second goal from that spot over there. You lucked out. Uh-huh, sure did. He'll have less luck if you keep this player back. And that one needs to pass off the boards. Get your goal... Before she said that, she didn't know anything about hockey. So are we playing or not? Attack and check, don't lose control. A line change on the fly. The puck is zooming towards the goal to score and break the tie. It's one for all and all for one. Great teamwork is a must. Let's go and show them how it's done. This game was made for us. Hockey's our game. hadn't been for Katya. But the winning goal was mine. Tom Thomas, it's time for the game. Ready to get going? Katya, I'll take you home. Oh, um, could I go with you to see the hockey? I never realized it's such a great game. Hey, you know what? Why don't we go to the game together? Maybe I'll like it too. Great, it's about time. Let's go. Well, Tom Thomas has his own team now. And not only that, they don't give up. It's not that. It was beginner's luck. That's all that it was. It's good to be a kid. People take care of you, feed you, buy you toys, and read you bedtime stories. But in return, you have to listen to adults. Go to preschool, then school, and always remember to put on a hat. All kids dream about being a parent, at least for a little while. Because moms, they're just superhuman. Human moms can do laundry, cook meals, iron clothes, and check their kids' homework all at once. Fixie moms can fix irons and hair dryers and can teach young fixies how they can do it. It's a shame that you can't become a parent before you grow up, but you can have fun pretending to be one. That's why girls like to play with dolls. Boys usually don't like it, but I don't see why. Dads can be really cool, too. What am I supposed to do with this now? 
I'm not some kind of girl who plays with dolls. <laughs> hey there, come on now. That baby doll's a real cutie. Why don't you put it down and we can get back to racing? Wait, wait! The baby's hungry. He needs to eat. Tom Thomas, help me! No, I won't. Won't you please? He's crying. Don't you hear? <laughs> That's all? after that boy. But what if something terrible has happened? My dolly's eyes were shiny. Toes and fingers tiny. He never acted whiny. I love my dolly so. Now my life is gloomy. How this happened to me? I can't find my cutie. My dolly's gone, oh no. Oh no. Honey, don't be upset about the car. It's gonna get here soon. By the way, why did you put the doll in the cupboard? It was so hard to find. But is it still home? It's in the box over there. It's gotta go back to the store. My poor dolly's gone. Ma, ma. My dolly! We're supposed to send him back today. Oh. Only I told Mom that I'd rather keep him. Hey! And what about your big new race car? Later. Did you do all this for me? You know... Papa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> a human body has a huge number of little tubes called blood vessels with blood flowing through them. The blood carries oxygen and nutrients to the cells, takes away carbon dioxide from them, and protects them from harmful microbes. To be sure if you're healthy or not, it's often necessary to have a blood test. The most accurate results come from blood that is taken from a vein. The sample is analyzed to see if everything is all right, and if not, the doctor will prescribe a treatment. You see, it's totally safe. And there's nothing scary about it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Blood should only be drawn on an empty stomach. What's that mean? It means no eating before the test. What happens if I eat? Well, then they won't take any blood from you. Hmm. That's an idea. What's an idea? Um, I got no idea. Okay. Good night. You're really not scared at all? Mm-mm. For some reason, I don't believe him. Ah? Uh, huh? Hey! What's going on? You're not allowed to eat! Give it back! Hmm. Oh! My mom's coming! <laughs> oh! Tom Thomas, did you forget? 
You're not allowed to eat now. Do I have to have this test? Go on. Go get yourself ready. Are you trying to run away? Shh. I thought you wanted to be a superhero. You're being nothing but a coward. I'm not a coward. You are. I'm not. You're acting like one. Anyhow, I'm not going there. Don't even think about it. No, like, help! <laughs> ah! <sighs> Ready to go? All right, Tom Thomas, get up. It's time. Well, thanks a lot. And from now on, we're not friends. Making an accurate blood analysis is not a simple task. Originally, this work was done by people that would examine a drop of blood under a microscope. Today, in modern laboratories, technicians analyze blood with the help of smart analyzing machines. These machines can do the job much faster, and they don't make mistakes like people can. After you give some blood to be analyzed, the test tube is sent on a real journey to reach the laboratory for analysis. In the laboratory, it moves from one analyzer to another, each one of them examining a different part of your blood. Then, all of the data is put together, and that's it. The blood test is done. You can get an email when the report is ready and check the results online, so you don't even have to go out to pick it up. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, huh? Thanks to you, we just lost our friend. It's because he was being a coward. And if it's my fault at all, it's only a little bit. Fixies! Are you here? We're here. Look what I've got! A certificate for bravery! You had the blood test! And you weren't scared? Uh-uh! Look! Way to go! So, are we friends again? Of course we are! All right! Then can you teach me a few of those moves? Yeah, sure! Whoa! What makes a person really beautiful? Fancy clothing? Bright nail polish? Dyed hair? Those don't make you look your best. Here's a much more reliable recipe. First, wash up and comb your hair. See, you're looking more beautiful already. Now change those dirty and wrinkly clothes for clean ones. Huh? That's even more beautiful. And finally, if you eat less sweets and get plenty of exercise, then you'll surely become a handsome boy <laughs> or a gorgeous girl. Fire? What's up? Do you think you could get an autograph from Vector for me? You got it. I love his song so much. So do I. Especially that one that goes... Computer, 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 you are super. I play my computer and turn it up real loud. I play it all morning, all day, and through the nighttime. But no, 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 that's not allowed. <laughs> I had no idea you were such a fanatic. You know, I'm not going to get you his autograph. Why won't you? Because you'll get it yourself. You know what I got? An extra ticket. <gasps> I thought you were going to take the most beautiful girl. All of you are beautiful, and you're the most fun to be around. Let's go. Stop! Hang on! Oh, Simba? Or is it Verda? Where are you going? What do you mean, where? To the concert. <gasps> mm. <gasps> mm. Verda? No, Simka. Or vice versa. I'm so confused. Come on, Tula. Can't you recognize them? This one's Simka, that one's Verda. Let's go, or we'll be late. Hmm. Blondes are always the lucky ones. Yeah. I guess we should have made our hair blonde like Tula's. Musical sounds can be produced in a variety of different ways. Violins and cellos are played with a bow. When the bow is rubbed against the string, the string vibrates like it's shivering. And that produces a beautiful sound. A guitar also has strings, but they make sound when they are plucked. And inside a piano are special hammers that hit the strings when the piano player presses down on the keys. Instruments like trumpets, trombones, flutes, and pipes make sound when air is blown through them. That's why they call them wind instruments. There are even instruments that make sound when they are rubbed by a wet finger. Try wetting your finger and carefully moving it around the rim of a wine glass. 
With a little bit of practice, you'll hear a lovely sound. Well, are you two ready? Yeah! Great! All together now! I know Happy this! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, Tom Thomas! Happy birthday to, to me! Tom Thomas, we also wish you a happy birthday. You see, Nolik, and you didn't believe that this was music. But I was the first to guess what song it is. Hey, thanks so much for helping me figure out Katya's present. And how about sending a song to Katya? Yeah! We can write down the musical notes to a song about the Fixies. The Fixies? We can't. We can't write down the words, but if it's just the notes there, then it's no problem. Hooray! <laughs> Want to play it? Of course we do. It's not easy for birds to find food under the snow. Luckily, many people come to the rescue. They build little houses for the birds, designed to hold food. The name for these houses are naturally bird feeders. Bird feeders can be made out of wood, plastic, or even something as simple as a milk or juice carton. Building a bird feeder by hand isn't hard to do at all. But building it is only one part of the work. What's most important is remembering to keep it filled with food. Well, shall we start? The bird feeder is ready! And what are we going to put in it? I got... An idea. <laughs> ah! Adisa, I need some of your food for a little bird. You aren't greedy. Greedy! 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 I didn't know Adisa is greedy. Adis is greedy. You need to learn how to share. Adis is greedy. What, like there's not enough food? Not enough food, not enough food, not enough food, not enough. Wow, now there's two of them out there. Eat! There's enough food for everybody. Poor Adisa, poor Adisa. Let's bring him in here. We can open Adisa's a restaurant a for poor birds. little bird. Why did you scare the little birds away? That feeder's for them, get it? Just fly away. Shoo! Uh, 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 uh. He's bullying our friends. Hey, you leave! Leave! You'll never chase him away now. We'll see about that. Aha! Serves you right, Pigeon. It's not nice to bully little guys. Yeah, and how about big guys? It's all right to bully them. The poor Pigeon also wants some food. Food! Food! You sure? Sure! Winter can be beautiful, but also very cold. Animals have different ways to prepare for when the weather gets cold. Some birds gather into flocks and migrate to where it's warmer. You could almost say they're flying to a resort. Squirrels, hamsters, and chipmunks collect and store nuts, mushrooms, and pine cones. There are many people who don't have pantries that are as well stocked. Badgers and bears eat a lot of extra food in the fall and then go to sleep in their dens and burrows for the whole winter. Fish also sleep in the winter, only they're at the bottom of rivers and lakes. Frogs, snakes, and even wasps burrow in the ground while hares, foxes, and wolves grow thick coats that protect them from the freezing cold. Although it isn't easy for them to find food. Mm. 
So that will be your feeder. And that new one will be for the little birds. Hey, are you taking their food again? There you go. Huh. But those little birds, they'll probably never come back here. Look, Nolik! <gasps> they came back! Chusaka took it. She saw that it was valuable and hung. You're right. Chusaka, give us back the gem, all right? Give it back, we said. Why are you making Chusaka angry? Because she has to give the stone back. What stone, Simka? One that calls a ton. Dogs are supposed to keep treasure safe, but this one eats them. Maybe you didn't look carefully. For example, did you check inside that flower pot? <laughs> this digging's just a waste. How could it end up in here? Because I know this is where we left it. Oh, is that so? All right, spit it out. <gasps> look at this! A diamond! This will look absolutely perfect on my back mat But I was the one that found it. It would look perfect on mine, too. Let's bring our pack mats and try it on them. We'll put it here for safekeeping. Well, who could have taken it? <laughs> we still need to check inside of Chusaka. <laughs> you gotta be joking. She'll eat you up. <gasps> Going, huh? Inside Chusaka to get the stone out. No, like, don't, please. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to do anything my friend needs me to. Huh? By any chance, are you looking for this? Huh? <gasps> Where in the world did you find it? I found a buried diamond. It looks like a diamond, but to be sure, we'll have to conduct a test. A raw diamond looks like an ordinary stone, but after cutting and polishing each of its facets, that special stone transforms into a rare and very expensive jewel that can adorn a necklace, a crown, or a museum's display case. The truth is, only a small part of all found diamonds is used for jewelry. It's because a diamond is also the hardest rock on the planet. That makes it perfect for cutting glass. Diamonds are used in making strong drill bits and cutting blades. Many important medical instruments could not be made without them. With the help of diamonds, it's even possible to drill through a mountain when building a tunnel. That's just how valuable diamonds are. They can cut a pipe and go well with a dress. So. This is our solar system, and it consists of... Friends, you're not going to believe it. I found... I discovered an unknown star. That is superb, Kali. Yeah. And today, journalists will visit the laboratory for an interview. Who's going to be interviewed? If you weren't late, you'd know that. I had to do my hair. They're here. Everyone hide. in the universe with billions of hot glowing spheres that everybody knows as stars. Stars are each born out of huge clouds of gas and dust that are called nebulas. We see stars in the sky as tiny dots, but that's only because they are very, very far away. The closest star to our planet is the sun. Even though the sun isn't the hugest star, it still gives us the heat and light we need to live. Professor Eugenius is a celebrity now, on a global scale. Yeah. Hey, did you see? Verda also got on the cover. No joke. Where? <gasps> and I 
think we look pretty good together. So, who wants my autograph? <laughs> we'll have to wait till after school. Uh, it's time to go. Hey, aren't you going? Not right now. My colleague and I have more important business. What colleague? The professor. Both of us have become celebrities. Verda, you got on that cover totally by accident. Uh, 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 somebody's jealous. <laughs> well, we've got our new star. <laughs> now, what should I name it? A colleague? Uh -huh. Why don't you name the new star Verda? After all, it does sound pretty. Verda, Verda. Hmm. Like a vertex whirling around. <laughs> That's a great idea. It's a shame you didn't get my autograph. Because that new star now has my name, Verda. <laughs> and now an elaborate celebration needs to be thrown in my honor. I mean, mine and the professor's, of course. What celebration are you talking about? With a red carpet and flowers? Why are you just standing there? Make it happen! The poor girl thinks she's a star. Absolutely. So what can we do about it? With lunatics, it's better not to argue. That's what I read. Then let's play your silly game. <laughs> your Majesty. Your red carpet awaits. Then unroll it. And the flowers? Am I supposed to do everything myself? Of course not. Here, Your Highness. Your crown. All right, now we're talking. I am a star. She's totally lost it. Mm hmm He's coming. Finally, finally, my dream is reality. Hi. Ah, oh, my little fixie friends, it's you here. I'm so honored you gathered here to congratulate me today. <laughs> us. Yes, us, them, we. We all should celebrate. No, I mean you and I. <laughs> now show us what you're carrying. Uh, of course, the certificate. It says, this star discovered by Professor Eugenius has been registered with the name VE03732. What? Oh. <laughs> That's what we should start calling our big star from now on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's so funny? Night is perfect for searching in the sky for constellations. The easiest one to find is the Great Bear or the Big Dipper, which looks like a soup ladle. If you draw a line through the two outside stars of the Big Dipper, you'll find the bright North Star, which is part of a constellation called the Little Bear or the Little Dipper. A bit further is the W-shaped Cassiopeia. And these three stars that are next to each other are well known as the Belt of Orion. If you draw a line through them, you'll find a star named Sirius. It's part of the Greater Dog Constellation, and it's the brightest star in the night sky. And on the other side of it, there is the star Aldebaran of the constellation Taurus. And these are but a few of the most visible stars. It's not even possible to imagine how many stars there really are in the universe. Tula? I'm here. Fire. Here. VE73032? Is that someone new? Yeah, we've got a new student. She's a star. A new giant star. <laughs> <laughs> in your bed. Have you seen this umbrella anywhere? Looks like the professor lost his umbrella again. <gasps> More than one? Look at all these flyers. No, like, they're all copies of one flyer. Elisa prints lots of them so she can hang them up all over town. <laughs> A copier is a device for making multiple copies of a single picture or document. An image that needs to be copied is placed on a piece of glass under a lid. The photocopier shines a bright light on it so it can take a clear picture. Then the image is printed onto paper with the help of special ink and a rotating drum. This way, you can make identical copies over and over again from one original until the ink or the paper runs out. What happened, Professor Eugenius? Oh, oh I, my briefcase, I can't find it anywhere. Oh, you're so absent-minded. First it was the umbrella, now it's the briefcase. Oh, is that for me? 
I don't do it on purpose. Well, we'll find your briefcase. I'll go design a new flyer for that, and I'll print those out, too. Ah, I just remembered. Remembered where you left your briefcase? Not that. This morning, I forgot to drink my tea. <laughs> so we need to find your tea as well. It's so dark inside of here. Quiet! Elisa's coming out. We have to hide. Where is that one about the briefcase? Here's the flyer for missing keys, the one for the phone, the flyer for when the professor gets lost. Here, a missing briefcase. Excellent. <laughs> Looks like she's gone for now. And where is Nolik? <laughs> There's Nolik, in printed form. <gasps> he got stuck inside the copier. We have to go and save him. Save him? We all need to be saved, Tula. If Elisa takes these flyers and hangs them up, the whole city will find out about Fixies. So what do we do then? Wait. Uh, oh, we can use those liquid erasers to paint over Nolan. Simka, look! Here's another Nolik! Oh, here comes another one. <laughs> Make sure he's covered. And here. Can repeat many of the different sounds that they hear. For instance, a dog's bark or the ring of the phone. Parrots can also mimic words or even whole sentences of human speech. But parrots don't understand the meaning of the words they are saying. They just repeat them like a music player. Hey, hello! Hey, hello! That's why you won't be able to have a real conversation with a parrot, even if it's the kind of parrot that can talk. All right, then let's have him repeat something. Hey, Adisa, Tadish, it's the Fixie's special sign. Say it. The Fixie's had a special sign. Tadish. <gasps> My dad is back. Let's hide, quickly. Hi there. Well, how's it going? You two talking to each other yet? I can't get him to say anything at all. You can't? Hmm. Adisa, how are you? This is a good parrot. <gasps> he wouldn't say anything before. Eh, he's used to talking around me. Adisa's a good parrot. Nolik, that's my name. Hmm? Whose name is Nolik? Uh, no. He was saying he's got no luck in this game. What kind of game? <laughs> Let's hide. Quickly, <gasps> hide. Uh, we were playing hide and seek. <laughs> With the parrot? Uh-huh. <sighs> Fixies have a special sign. <gasps> oh! Fixies have a special sign. <laughs> what? Fixies? A special sign? Uh, no. It was physics. It's a special science. Uh, that's what we're studying about right now at school. You know, how special oh. physics is. Wow, that's impressive. Um, well, keep up the good work, son. The ability to repeat what humans say is not something unique to only parrots. Crows, starlings, and other animals can do it too. And besides animals, there are also machines that can repeat human speech. For instance, when you call somewhere and hear, leave your message after the tone, what you're hearing is a voicemail machine using a recorded voice to answer the call. Another example is the voice on trains and buses that is used to announce the stops. Those voices are usually recordings that are repeated over and over. Today, there are also artificial voices on computers, tablets, and smartphones that can read text and say it out loud. But even if a machine knows what you are saying, it can't know why you are saying it. Only people can figure that out. And Fixies, of course. Huh? Tom Thomas, you're a hero. You really wiggled your way out of that one. And Adisha, bad parrot. 
He almost gave up our secret. Be careful with that parrot. I get it. Adisa, listen, you. Forget everything we said. And don't ever say no word, okay? Yeah, nothing about the Fixies at all. Yeah, so if you meet a Fixie, please don't let their secret out. Got it? Oh, he's nodding. Looks like he understands. Let's get out of here so he'll forget about us as soon as possible. So if you meet a fixie, please, don't let their secret out. Tadish, Tadish, Tadish. This was such a nice home for us. It's okay. We'll move into one of the other TVs here. The one in the living room? Why not? It's a nice new one with a huge flat screen. We're gonna have to leave the sofa behind. What? There's just not enough room in that TV. Then I'm not going to move there. Then where? Into the fridge? No, thank you. My nose is running. How about the stove? And what about us? You're the one that says that a stove is off limits for kids. Maybe the microwave will do. No, it's dangerous there. Then, in the piano. What piano? There's no piano in Tom Thomas's apartment. What a shame. A piano is the best place of all to call home. Huh? It looks like he already put us into a box. We're trapped. Good. <laughs> Dad! Hey, Dad! I changed my mind. I really don't want to get a new TV. Hmm. Why don't you want a new one? I'm just used to this one. You're a junk collector. <laughs> uh-huh. Just like you, Dad. <laughs> People have always dreamt of seeing things that are far, far away. All of us have heard fairy tales about crystal balls and magic mirrors. But the magic of television began only a hundred years ago. The screens on the first TVs were so small that people had to attach magnifying glasses to them to make the picture big enough for watching. Ever since those first TVs, both the outside and the inside of this amazing device continue to change. Bulky picture tubes have been replaced by electronic chips. Screens have grown wider and wider as TV sets have changed from big heavy boxes to flat light screens that can hang on the wall like a picture. And someday, real soon, it's quite possible that TVs will be made to roll up like a rug and people will be able to carry them anywhere. All right, I'll put it back, but under one condition. If it breaks, we'll buy you a new one right away. Yeah, sure. We'll never let it break, right? Never, never ever! Well, that's that. The color is completely wrong, see? I guess we're going to have to throw it out after all. Wait, wait, wait. I know how to make it work perfectly. Watch this. One, two, and three. How did you do it? I just mixed the three colors together, like I told you, red with green and blue. Tish! Tom Thomas, unwrap it already. In the morning, Nolik. I really want to see the toy that's inside. Be patient, Nolik. That's all. I'm going to bed. Please don't touch it, okay? And you won't open it without me, right? That's a deal. Oh. <sighs> Good night, Nolik. Uh-huh. doing in here? Me? Well, I was... Oh, it's a chocolate ball with a toy inside. <gasps> How interesting. Yeah, totally. Let's unwrap it and take a look. We can't. Not until Tom Thomas comes in the morning. But if we're real careful, he won't notice. A chocolate confection. Yeah. A piece of perfection. Uh, uh, Perhaps let uh, give that shining <laughs> Took a look. Tom 
Thomas won't be happy at all when he finds out you touch his chocolate ball. And you? Like you didn't touch it? I didn't. Oh, then what's that, Nolik? <gasps> chocolate? Absolutely. It's 100% natural milk chocolate. It says so right here. The key ingredient in chocolate is cocoa beans. They are roasted, crushed, and ground. After that, the ground beans are pressed to extract the oil from them. If you mix butter, cocoa, and sugar, you'll get dark chocolate. And if you add some milk to it, then you'll get milk chocolate. Then you just warm it up, pour it into molds, and cool it down. You can add raisins or nuts into chocolate. Sometimes chocolate is even made with flavors like flowers or salt. Chocolate wasn't originally for eating. It was used in a drink made by mixing roasted beans with water and then adding hot peppers. Not every adult could drink it, let alone a child. Today, chocolate is a favorite treat the world over for children and adults alike. How can we put it back together? How about scotch tape? Come on! We'll start by warming up the chocolate so it softens up and then use that to make a new ball. And then to make it hard again... Yeah, we just cool it off. My chocolate confection has got an imperfection. Half of it's gone into Not there. Not there. 